When I met Lindsay, I was divorced. My heart was a little hardened towards just the church and just kind of how I had went through just a really hard transition. The whole first kind of year that we dated or talked, we weren't in the same place, so we would just talk on the phone a lot. Sometimes I would come home for the weekend so that we could spend time together. By the time that I was done with my last year of college and moved home, we were like ready to start really dating. And so we dated for about a year. We talked very openly about our faith and how we wanted to be in church together. Once we started attending Harvest and um, attending small groups, I don't think really realized for a while that we were living in sin and mm -hmm. not obeying the Lord in the way that we were dating and living together. As we started going to church together, my focus kind of turned like, well, maybe maybe I can get married again, and uh, it, it, it can be different. I was really convicted going to small group and just learning about God's Word and, and what marriage looked like that, uh, you know, Lindsay and I at the time, we were living in sin. We were doing things that were not pleasing to the Lord, and uh, it was a challenge from uh, Pastor Cal at the time that, you know, if we wanted to honor the Lord in our marriage, that uh, uh, we would abstain with some uh, behaviors. And so we did, you know, we went uh, nine months being obedient until we got married and um, God truly blessed that obedience. The people that we were in small group with were so gracious in the way that they loved us and pointed us to what God's word said about how to live when you're dating and how to live when you're married and mm -hmm. what that looks like and how it's different. Their loving encouragement is what caused us to make choices when we were dating that honored the Lord. When I mm -hmm. look at like where we were in life when we first came to Harvest and when we first started small group, our lives looked totally different than Absolutely. what I ever would have imagined they were going to look like. I wouldn't have guessed that we'd be serving in all the capacities that we're serving. When we first came to small group, we struggled with pride and control in our own plan in how we wanted our marriage to go, how we wanted our family to look, the way we wanted things to be. Slowly over the years, as God said, no, I have a different plan for you, he grabbed a hold of our hearts and he drove us into these places that I, I don't think we ever imagined we would be and in surrounding us with godly people he's just grown our desire to learn more about him to pour into the community that poured into us through serving as small group leaders through serving in harvest kids soul care mission trips the reason that our family revolves around all of these church things is because we get so much joy out of serving people and loving people the way that we have felt loved and served by other people. Point them to God's word, but then also as we're telling people about what God's word says about discipline, you know, it, it's also teaching us. And it's kind of reaffirming God's word in our own lives, in our own discipline. As hard as it is, it's so worth it. It's so worth all the effort, all the late nights, all the conversations, whether they're hard conversations or easy conversations, it's, it's all worth it.